Hey guys, this tent has been up now for over four months and I'm going to take it down. I think it's done its job. I, uh, I appreciate uh, anybody who's uh, mentioned any comments or liked or shared any of these videos. I hope they've been helpful for you. I just want to give you kind of a bit of a summary. And by the way, this is a 360 degree video, so you can look around while I'm talking or you can follow me while I rock, walk around. If you're using a phone, you can just kind of wave your phone. Um, if you're using a computer, you can just drag your mouse. So let me just tell you a little bit. If you haven't seen any of the videos, this is the 12 by 12 Kodiak Lodge Tent. Uh, over there opposite of me, they, I've got the Colorado Spruce, uh, Colorado Cylinder Stove. It's the Spruce model. It's got a five inch pipe because it's got a five inch stove jack in here. That's the model that I recommend. Uh, great product, great company to work with. Um, so here's my opinion on this tent. I just cannot believe how well it's held up. If you take a look at the link below, you'll see a blog that shows the, the whole four months um, kind of progressively from curing the stove to seeing it in wind and up to almost up to 40 miles per hour and uh, snow, heavy snow, light snow, uh, rain. And um, I wanted to take a day like this to show those of you who maybe don't even have any intention of using the stove. You don't have to use a stove in the tent. Some people ask me if this will work for um, summer camping or is it just for winter? So I cleared some of this stuff out. If you've seen the videos, you, you will remember I had a cot right over here. I had a cot right here and I had a uh, canvas floor liner on the floor and you know, a fire extinguisher, box of wood, stuff like that. I've been able to clean all that out and uh, let this dry out so I can pack it up. But look at all these windows, it's pretty impressive. And we have, fortunately, we have a bit of a breeze so you can kind of see the, the wind push against the walls. And the, the no seam mesh is, is, is uh, woven tightly enough that you, you get a breeze but not too much, if that makes sense. Like you're not, at least for me, I've never had a desire to have them open when the wind was blowing quite a bit, but a gentle breeze, not enough to like blow papers around and stuff. So. Have, and you can see there's windows everywhere. There's windows on every side. If you follow me over here, this enclosure section right here is optional um, and it zips on. So you don't have to use it. If you do want to use it, it's nice if you're getting rained on. You can set up a card table, you know, some chairs and wait out the storm. But it's got windows too. And all these windows in here, they all zip closed. And they zip closed on the side and Velcro on the bottom. All of these inside here, they zip up. It's completely, it's, it's great. It's watertight. If you're not using the stove jack, um, on the outside, it also zips closed as well. So let me tell you how this has held up for four months. <clears throat> um, there is a pole that goes right above uh, the camera. And, and then the base of it sets right where the camera is setting on the tripod. And that's only something you would use if you're expecting snow but it has held up really well. I can't believe, I've never had a tent out this long. The only thing that I've noticed, and I'll show you this in a second, is the color, the sun is starting to kind of bleach the green on the outside. But I don't get what the deal is. There's birds everywhere around here. I don't know why I don't have a bunch of bird crap all over the tent, but it is just clean as clean. Uh, and um, you see there's these airflow vents too. I, I didn't mention that. So if you got the fire going, there's one here and there's one over here too. And they just zip close so you can unzip it, zip it back up. Um, and then there's these gear pockets here, which are nice too for cell phones, you know, iPads, maps, or what have you. So it's, it's been really good. I, uh, I know a lot of you have um, bought these yourselves and encourage you to, you know, share pictures with us and, and take videos yourself. We, we'd surely love to see them. Um, let me show you the outside. You can see what I'm talking about. Well, let me show you the enclosure first a little bit better in depth since it's a 360 degree camera. The, I had a little mat right here and my dogs would sometimes come in through the enclosure area and scrape it. So that white stuff is just, it's not mold or anything. It's just uh, powder from the bottom of the carpet. But you can see that it's got kind of the storm guards on the bottom and it's got all these windows and I feel a breeze right now as I'm talking to you. 
Let me take you outside. So I'm going to start over here. And if you take a look at the tent, I maybe you can't tell. I can tell that it has just slightly bleached this. It's even kind of slightly be bleached the screen too. But um, I mean, check out the the uh, the white. The roof is just as white as white. And let me just do a walk around for you. Oh. I'm not going to be able to edit that out. Anyways, so this is the other side. You can see all the ventilation points too from the exterior. And you've got this storm window here, which is nice because if it's raining, you don't even have to close that. You can zip the bottom part up, but you don't have to close that completely. Awesome. Well, that's the video, guys. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, comment below. Um, if you find the video helpful, please go ahead and like it. And uh, thanks for watching.